What's up, YouTube? Mellow, where's the matter? So, last week, I think it was, other week or two ago, I've lost track of the night we are at now. We did get the reveals that Clan Collection 5 and 6 would be coming in June time for Japan with a TBA date for the English side. But we got we got the set pages coming out on the Japanese side, which gave us some nice little bit tidbits of information. So I've gone ahead and done some predictions of what I think the Clan Collection support is going to be for 5 and 6 and thought I'd share my ideas with you. So I'm going to be going through these first with the Clan Collection 5s in order and then go through the Clan Collection 6s in order. The 6 that we know are guaranteed are Dragonic Overlord the Rebirth, Dark Dimensional Robo Reverse Diusha, and Duo Temptation Rate, and the other three from the Clan Collection Volume 6 is a Revenger Dragon Ruler Phantom, Ancient Dragon Spino Driver Reverse, and the last one for that was the Star Vader Omega Glendios. So the extra bits that we have gained information wise is there is going to be some token reprints and there is also going to be four new cards for one of the clans in Clan Collection 6 instead of three, three new cards. So very interesting information we can gather from that. So but that's all in Clan Collection 6. So let's start off with Clan Collection 5. Clan Collection 5, we have got, starting off with the Royal Paladins, and it's the very heavily predicted Broken Heart Jewel Knight Ashley Reverse. So obviously, we got Salome in the first wave of the Link Joker arcs themed ones, so it would make sense that Ashley Reverse would be coming in the second half, just to tie in giving Royal Paladins their reverse, and also tie finishing off the Jewel Knight support at the end. And this is the last of the package. Port wise, I, I'm predicting uh, to come with Banding Jewel Knight Miranda, which is the Ashley specific Search of Grade 2, which is really good. And Grade 1, I've gone for Security Jewel Knight Alwain, which was the one that returned the Ashley cut named cards from Drop Zone back to deck to give the Vanguard plus 5k. So tied in really nicely there. Next one up is OTT, and I'm actually predicting Magus to get the support this time with Pentagonal Magus Reverse. The reason behind this is when the Reverse came to V series in the anime, or say Reverse, the Psychoalia Zombies, uh, Misaki at the time was using Magus. So having Pentagonal Magus, which was our cover card in V, be the Reverse, does start tie in to make sense. We can also give Cure Magus and Octagon Magus their prints into V as well, because then that ties up the last of the core Magus cards that are missing from the V series. Next one up is Genesis, and it's the very heavily expected Waifu of the Clan, Omniscience Regalia Minerva. Obviously, Minerva being in the set makes stupid amount of sense because obviously in the OG Link Joker this was Masaki's big reveal uh, here's my restanding Vanguard with works with the trial deck that came out at the time really nice alongside that I've gone for Goddess of Trees Jupiter which is really nice regardless it was the 12k attacker but obviously they can rework it to do more with it and then grade one would be Ordain Owl which obviously had the same skill as Jewel Knight Alwain, but for Regalias. Next one up is Kagaro, which obviously we know Dragonic Over the Rebirth is coming. So this one's been revealed, so there's not much we can predict around it. Grade 2 wise, I couldn't find anything key to bring over, so it could be another Grade 3 backup that we don't know. But Grade 1s, I've gone for Eternal Bringer Griffin, which is the Overlord Grade 1 searcher. We haven't got this one in English yet, but it more than likely will get retrained to do something else instead of searching overlords, because there's already plenty of overlord search in Kagero. Murakumo, bit of a weird one again, because the support's been here, there, and everywhere. So I'm predicting they're actually going to go for some Nura Hugo, Hugo Yoga Sport. I don't know how to pronounce the game, but it's the one that got, real, got released a couple of clan collections ago. I think it was Clan Collections 1 and 2 he was in. But having him here, just giving a nice extra little bit of support, would be really nice to the deck. Following up, we have got Eradicator Vowing Saber Dragon Reverse. So, obviously, 
He was the first reverse that he revealed back in the OG Link joke arc in the anime, and him coming back is pretty much guaranteed. Especially after them doing Vowing Sword Dragon in Clan Collections 1 and 2. Alongside him, I am predicting Homing Eradicator Roshinchin, Roshinsin, who was the released support alongside Vowing Sword Reverse in, v e uh, in BT12, gaining power for each of the retires, which ties in with what we're predicting Vowing Sword Save is going to be based around. And then, obviously, going alongside that, we have got Steel Blooded Eradicator Shuki, which also gains power from retires. Obviously, I'm expecting them to retrain them a bit more to do more than that, but it does make sense. Next one up is Dimension Police, and obviously, again, this one we know about, and that's Dark Dimensional Robo Lulivus Dayusha. So, obviously, slam, slam dunking on the screen, he is here, and predicting to go alongside him. We have Dimensional Robo Die Heart, which was the superior ride used by Kote back in the anime when he was reversed in Link Joker to superior ride into reverse Diosha, so cano canona canonically makes sense. But for grade ones, I've actually gone with Go Cannon, which is the Diosha Get Crit Gamer from the exact same set as Die Heart and Reverse Diosha. But I'm more like expecting a retrain, so it does a different bit for a skill. Next up, we have Spike Brothers. And Spike Brothers have got most of their iconic cards brought over now, except one iconic pair in that Bloody Ogle and Frozen Ogle. So those two are more than likely going to be here. Nice to see that a Legion coming to Spike Brothers finally. But the third card is up in the air. It could be great for Catabolt or it could even be a new card. So that we'll have to wait and see. Next up is my favourite clan in Pale Moon. And this more than likely won't happen. But I'm going to predict that my favourite line of Turquoise Beast Tamer, Crimson Beast Tamer and the Barking Manticore return. Obviously Crimson and Turquoise were two very iconic units. They were really strong in the Pale Moon. Just, just for the fact of having that nice boosting boosting power. But obviously they'll be retrained to do more in the V in the V series. Obviously having the Beast Tamer name is really nice because it then ties into Tilly Eep support. And also, if they make it Beast Tamer generic support, you can then also support Golden Beast Tamer with it. Barking Manticore, I don't see much as a main Grade 3, but more as a supporting Grade 3. Like they did with Tsukiyomi back in that wave of support. Next one up is the Bermuda Triangles, and obviously, this is the last of the guaranteed stuff that we know about for Clan Collection 5, is Duro Temptation Rate. So going alongside her, presuming they keep the duo name because obviously there is the bit that everyone's debating is the fact of Mir when brought over did lose the duo name out of it so people aren't sure what duos are going to actually do so we're predicting it's going to be for now we're saying duo temptation rate but I'm predicting with coming along with her is going to be the ever loving combo of duo mini heart Roan, which everyone knows about and duo Petit Etoile Peace. Next card up, next clan up is Aquaforce. And for Aquaforce, it's the one that I can see, I've seen multiple Aquaforce players asking about, and that is Blue Storm Dragon, Transcore Dragon. Obviously, it's the beloved break ride that came back out in BT11. Would be really nice support to go alongside Maelstrom if they just, if they decide to go that route. Not Maelstrom. Uh, Tetra Drive Dragon, it could be very good tied to be, being with him. But going alongside that, I have gone for Mercenary Brave Shooter and Twin Strike Brave Shooter, which were the basic 10 and 12k attackers, but obviously you get retrains. Finishing up with Mega Kali, we know we're more than likely predicting a reverse, but we aren't sure which way they're going to go with it. So I literally just ummed ard, ummed ard, and decided, screw it, let's give it to Worm Toxic, Mu Toxic Mutant Venom Stinger and he's going to be the reverse. So he got these one wave of support in Clan Selections Volume 1 and 2 and then got no more support to his archetype. So giving some more support to Venom Stinger really, really nice. Showing that extra little bit of love and giving two new cards to support him in the set. That is the end of the Clan Collection 5 stuff so we are now moving on to Clan Collection 6. 
and we are starting off with Shadow Paladins, which is our first known one of Revenge of Dragful Drag Ruler Phantom. So obviously we know he's coming. He's more than likely going to be tied to face Mordred support. So it's more going to focus around Blast of Dark than the Revenger name. Having said that, though, I am expecting the two reprints to also be the two small cards to also be Revengers. And I've gone for Revenger Bloodmaster and Revenger Dark Von Trumpeter to go alongside that. Both really strong cards and be really nice to see if they re how they retrain them. Angel Feathers, I've decided to take a page out of what they did for Clan Collection 3 and 4. And I've actually given three different Grade 3 bosses here. So we have got Chief, Chief Nurse Shamsil as the main boss. Whilst also being backed up by Circular Saw Kyriel and the Phoenix Calamity Flame. All of these are very iconic Limit Break era cards because at this point, all of the Link Joker Arc-esque Link uh, Angel Feathers have actually been done. So having Shamsil, Kyriel and Calamity Flame all come back would be really nice. Now this next one's going to be the controversial one, Gold Paladins. So I'm not expecting them to get a reverse unit. Instead, I'm going for the good old Liberator of Bronze, Gansalos Zenith. Obviously, he is the face of Link Joker like finale for the fact of it was Aichi's deck. Having him there, very iconic. Can't really can't skip on it. And supporting alongside it. We have I've gone for Blast Blade Liberator is pretty much guaranteed. Grade one, however, I'm torn between two, and for now I have settled on Flying Sword Liberator Gorlois, which is literally the same as Ordain Owl in returning Guard Slots back to deck. This could also become Barkle Liberator, which is a very iconic card alongside Blast Blade Liberator. So it could go either way for those. Now Nubatama, we we can guarantee it's going to be Hanzo support. Not for the fact of it's been shown, but the fact of they've announced in the set six descriptions there is two token card reprints in this set. And the only tokens to the cat clans in these sets is Hanzo and or the Evil Decoy token and the plant token. So Having the Evil Decoy token be there, we can now guarantee it's Hanzo support. So, more support for Hanzo is really nice, but what the two backup cards are going to be is very interesting. Next one up on the list is Tachikaze, and we know we have got Ancient Dragon Spinal Driver Reverse. So, alongside him, I have put Dino Crowd and Gatlingaro, which are the retire units to gain power. So, more than likely going to get an extra skill alongside those because those skills alone would nowhere near be worth it, any form of interest. But they are going to be keeping the Ancient Dragon names, which is really nice. Next up is Nerve Grapplers. I'm honestly expecting to finish up the Beast Deity arc with Ethics Buster Extreme. Alongside the Ethics Buster Extreme, I am expecting Beast Deity Golden Anglet, which was the, 12K, the 9k that gained 3k every time it restood. So really nice for the Ethics Buster playstyle of Beast Deities of standing your units multiple times with stuff like Scarlet Bird, with the Rhino and multiple things that can just attack, stand and attack in the main phase. This could be really nice support. Alongside this we have got a Hilarity Store which was a basic discard and draw one. It's one of the few remaining Beast Deities that actually haven't come out yet. More than likely would get a retrain, but we'll have to wait and see what they do with it. Next one up is Link Joker, and for them, I've decided they are more than likely going to be the clan that gets the four new cards. More for the fact of Omega Grandios, which is the guaranteed revealed card. It doesn't have much in terms of stuff that we reprinted to go alongside him. So his three support cards I've gone for is Star Vader Reverse Cradle, which is the iconic Grade 3 that went alongside him. It's the Link Joker Reverse Unit. And honestly, can't wait to see what they do with it. Then we've got Magnet Hollow for a, the Reverse Searcher. And Taboo Star Vader Rubidium for the redirecting the atta opponent's attacks into Reverse Units. We are also expecting, with the release of Clan Collection 5 and 6, there to be some allowances of reverse units into Link Joker, but we're going to have to wait and see what they do with that. 
Next one up on the list is Dark Irregulars. And seeing that we got Amon in Clan Collections 3 and 4, we are now pretty much guaranteed to be getting Demon Marquee Amon the Reverse. Because of this reveal, we can also go along the lines of there's more than likely going to be more Amon's followers. And who else to pick outside of the two iconic ones if our Amon's followers, Hell's Deal and Hell's Draw. So next one up is going to be Gear Chronicles. And for Gear Chronicles, there's obviously the part of Gear Chronicles were never around during the reverse era, so what's going to happen? Uh, now, I'm half predicting they will give them a reverse, but it's going to be the one that not everyone wants, more for the fact that everyone's expecting it to be more Chrono Jet support. I've, however, gone for Chrono Fang Tiger reverse. They could even make it a Grade 4 reverse, so obviously you start staying with Chrono Fang Tiger, and he then rides up into a Grade 4, which could be very interesting to do. Obviously, with him being brand new, the support cards are also going to be brand new. We can't really do much about it. That's also tie in for the fact of with him being the users of Chrono Fang Tiger in G and the V Shinimonarch Monarch were both the bad guy. It makes sense to reverse Chrono Fang Tiger. Next one up is Grand Blue, and this one is also pretty much guaranteed as well. For the fact of, alongside the two tokens being reprinted in Clan Collection 6, they are also reprinting one marker. And the only marker clan in the Clan Collection Volume 6 is the Treasure Marker. So we know Grand Blue support is going to be 7 Cs focused, and the only Grade 3 that's notable to be reprinted is 7 Cs Sage Plegaton. Alongside him, I have gone for Seven Seas Crack Soldier Night, Night Jasper and Seven Seas Shipmate Night Alert. So it's going to be a nice bit of Seven Seas support. Hopefully they'll be able to do some more finishes alongside it. Just to give that bit of extra power to the treasure markers. But we'll have to wait and see. Neonectar, we're in a bit of a weird spot for. Because like, we know it's plant tokens. But the entire clan is plant tokens. So... I'm Denard, and I honestly could not think of what they could do for Neonectar, so I'm honestly expecting a brand new Grade 3, Grade 2, Grade 1 that aren't actually tied to the new stuff, like they do sometimes for the sets. Then last clan is going to be Great Nature, and obviously we're expecting Leopold Reverse, because of the, but, but because of the way the clan is actually settled at this point, I don't think we're actually going to be getting supporting Grade 2, Grade 1 for Leopold Reverse because we've already got lots of support for the generic lottery theme. And I'm actually predicting we're going to be getting, a new, like they did with Grand Blue, where you got Kytus and the Legion. We're going to be going for Leopold Reverse and then Tester Fox, Research Fox Legion as the backups for this set. So, could be really nice to see Restanding Your Research Fox, giving it power. And then when it research fox skill could be searching more combo pieces out. Really interesting to see how they develop it. But that's if they go for that route. But that is going to be it for this video. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.